Hi, it's Louise at Spiral Bright Insight, and I wanted to do a video about the Mars Venus conjunction that is taking place this week in Aquarius. Now, um, it's particularly interesting because um, it's happening on a special day which is the 22nd of February. Now, um, in numerology, the number two is all about balance. It's about harmony. It's about coming together. It's unity, collaboration, cooperation, partnership. All those kind of um, themes are expressed through the number two. With the two, we have mutual understanding. We have faith. We have trust. And we have um, a healthy codependence. Now, um, we have this 22nd of February, which is already, um, we have three twos in that date. And then if you add the 2024, there's a further two twos. So um, it's really strong two energy on this particular date, which really is enhancing this energy of balance, of harmony, of coming together. And then what we're going to um, see in the astrology is the coming together of Mars and Venus. Now, these are two personal planets in the chart and um, Mars is our sort of more masculine expression. It is about action. It is um about motivation, drive and passion. And then Venus is the more feminine expression, which is more about um, love. Again, equally about passion, but how we relate to others and how we express ourselves. And um, so, you know, this is um, a really kind of significant aspect in the chart. So when these two planets meet at the same point, and in this case, it is happening at six degrees, 57 minutes of Aquarius, it is like um, it's the sort of um, the setting of a new cycle. And so something new is being ignited and initiated here. Now, in Aquarius, Obviously, the, we've been talking a lot about Aquarian energy. Aquarius is um, the sign that affects all of us at a collective level. So we're talking about um, a new cycle for humanity. Um, it is about sort of our future, where we're going. You know, it indicates progress and um, our hopes and our wishes. Um, but there is also um, a sense in Aquarius about freedom and the um, the ability to be um, your unique self, but as part of a wider group. So when we have um, this meeting of the masculine and feminine, which is effectively what's happening when Mars and Venus come together, um, it is a point of neutrality, of balance, where neither energy is dominating the other one. Now, I have been reading um, Laurie Ladd's book, The Divine Design, and as I found find very often, the, the part that I was reading yesterday referred to the divine masculine and divine feminine in sort of humanity's history. And Laurie was explaining that certainly in the 3D realm, the masculine has tended to be more dominant and take um, sort of more center stage in humanity's history. Um, whereas um, prior to um, the 3D on earth, when we had a 5D consciousness, the feminine was much more um, dominant and um, I don't want to say in control because that's quite a masculine expression, but um, there was much more sort of stillness and intuition and compassion and creativity and sensitivity through the divine feminine. Whereas when the divine masculine has been um, stronger in our world, there's been much more sort of strength, assertion, power, leadership um, and very much action based. So, of course, both have higher and lower expressions, but um, in the 3D, the masculine has um, stepped forward. And that has been our experience in the human um, realm for, for eons of time. 
So as we move into the 5D and five dimensional reality, we are going to be merging both the divine masculine and the divine feminine together because um, we cannot have, when we step into 5D, we cannot have this division. There cannot be sort of polarised um, experiences. Everything has to merge and blend together. So we come into harmony and flow. Um, now, with... Um, the Aquarian, this um, beautiful conjunction happening in Aquarius, it really is um, sort of serving as, I see it as almost like a window to the 5D um, because we're having, we're going to have this opportunity to kind of let go of labels, of stereotypes, of expectations because Aquarian energy is very unconventional. It does not follow the mainstream and um, it does what's true to itself, to its heart. Um, so there is a real strong sense here of having the freedom to be who you are and not having to pick a side, not having to pick a way of being. Um, so, you know, a much more authentic way of expression. And with the air energy as well, and I've talked quite a bit about um, air energy being very strong in 2024, this is bringing through a new understanding and certainly a new frequency because air is light, it is frequency. Um, now, what makes this particular conjunction even more interesting is the fact that it is going to be in opposition to a fixed star called Rho Cancri 55, which is the diamond planet. Now, again, I've talked about this star in recent videos, and um, it is being activated quite a lot this year because it is at seven degrees of Leo. So it is opposing a lot of the Aquarian energy that we are um, experiencing. Um, but with um, the Rho Cancri, this diamond energy, this is sort of activating diamond light codes and frequencies and bringing through the five dimensional energy that we are starting to sort of become more familiar with and sort of work towards. Um, the fact also that we have the moon in opposition to Venus and Mars at this time this week because the moon is moving through Leo as well is going to enhance sort of the energy even further. So we'll have the moon conjunct Rho Cancri and then um, so shortly after that um, we have the Mars Venus conjunction. So um, the moon is sort of holding space for the feminine um, side, for the stillness, for that softness. But also in Leo, it's about having courage to be who you are um, and to sort of step into that more authentic version of you as part of the wider collective. Now, um, we are also um, with the sort of diamond energy, it is sort of drawing us towards a more crystalline way of being. It's very um, pure and magical energy. And, you know, it just feels to me that um, we have this sort of moment in time where these two um, planets, Venus and Mars, sort of join together. We have this moment of balance and with this diamond energy sort of kind of shining a light on that and then, um, you know, having the fractals of um, diamond light sort of spread and sparkle everywhere. Um, it really feels like a moment in time where we can connect to how things could be, um, almost like, um, like a preview or a snapshot or something like a glimpse of the future, if you like, but pulling it down into the here and now. This is a real time um, to, um, you know, it's the start of a new cycle. So there is going to be a shift in our relationships in a shift in the relationship that we have with ourself. Um, through Aquarian energy, there's a real sense of divine intervention as well, because Aquarius is sort of our connection to the galactics, to the cosmos, to the higher, to the higher realms. Um, so, um, yeah, it's it's a very, very powerful time. So, and I just thought it was really interesting, the fact that it's happening on this sort of two, 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 two um, portal day, which is already sort of providing this really grounded, harmonious, balanced energy that we are sort of working through. And that's holding space for this conjunction 
and so I hope you found that interesting. I certainly did. We're in this beautiful week of very, very deep healing energy um, with the Chiron North Node conjunction, which is happening today, the 19th. We're building up to the full moon in Virgo on Saturday. We've got Fommel Holt going to conjoin with the sun, which is deeply beautiful Christ consciousness and angelic energies. Um, you know, and in the midst of it, we have this beautiful conjunction as well with the divine masculine and the divine feminine are coming into this perfect balance um, and to start this new cycle. So thank you so much for watching. Um, feel free to comment and um, yeah, I will be back very soon.